Hello again fellow modelers, today it's a quite unusual topic since we are going to do what the spider do. I will show you how to make metal tension spoke wheel for older cars such as Bentley blower. Plastic part doesn't look like original wheel very much, so I keep only the center cartridge and the rim, I remove everything else. I clean the rim with a sandpaper and a knife, then I make it ready for adding spokes. Since the Bentley has double spokes, I must split the rim into two halves using a razor saw. Be careful not to cut your fingers. So that is all what has left. Now I am going to make a template for a spoke to yield. You can download template for 28 and 24 spoke to yield from the following link. I mark intersection points on the wooden board with a pencil. I am going to insert pins like this into indicated holes, however you can use ordinary nails or solid stick too. But first I have to drill holes and choose a drill with a correct diameter. Numbering of pins is quite handy, but not entirely necessary. Now, when it is ready, I can glue the wheel rim into the template. It is important to keep the precise centering. I am using a 0.18mm white nylon fishing fiber. I start with spokes from number 1, where I make two knots. Then I always tighten the fiber into direction of the opposite pin with number plus or minus one. It depends on where did you go, clockwise or counterclockwise. In the end I tied the fiber again so it wouldn't untangle. I glue the spokes into the rim with a super glue. Now we are almost done, but Bentley has double spokes. I glue the second part of the rim and I rotate the wheel a few degrees so that the first spoke is positioned between two lower spokes. Then I repeat the whole procedure again.
I have to change the template a little, because the reverse side has only 14 spokes, so I hammer only 7 pins into the circle. In the end, it was not that simple. The cartridge is much wider at the one side and I had to improvise a little. I just have to spray the wheel with a surfacer, assemble it and paint it. Well, that is quite a difference.